After declaring a public health emergency in June due to the opioid epidemic, the Red Lake Tribal Council today voted unanimously in favor of an outline of protocols for the banishment of tribal members facing drug offenses. Banishment has been part of tribal ordinance since December 2003, but there was no protocol. Under the terms, the individuals would not be allowed on the reservation or at any of the casinos. Now, during a monthly meeting, the council determined which crimes could be considered under the ordinance, how long it would last, and how individuals could reclaim membership. In the approved resolution, the council said that it would affect people in drug-related behaviors or charges may include, but not be limited to, buying, selling, manufacturing, administrating, transporting, and distribution. A member of law enforcement or prosecuting party would issue a petition for banishment. The petition would include the party or party's names or names, reasoning for the decision and length of time. There would also be a hearing where evidence would be presented and a burden of proof would have to be established. Banishment would last one to five years at maximum unless there is no progress to address underlying issues that led to banishment. After one year of banishment, the person would be able to seek rehabilitation. If the person is banished, he or she would technically not lose membership, but would lose some of the benefits from the tribe. He or she would still be able to claim themselves as a Native American and could seek help at agencies such as Indian Health Services, but wouldn't be able to do so on tribal land. Now, the council also agreed to execute a substance abuse treatment program license for the Red Lake Medication Assisted Recovery Services Program and further authorizes application for any further licenses that will bring the program to fruition. The document also said that the Tribal Council is also developing additional tools to fortify the spectrum of services that are, that are available to treat tribal members suffering from addiction. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.